This is Catherine with Vive Catherine. I'm here at Club Jador in New York City to celebrate DJ Magic's one year anniversary with Hot 97. Let's go in and check it out. Congratulations to DJ Magic, man. Live from his little brother, Spazzo, Brooklyn Future. You know, you're looking at the future. Big, 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 big shout out to big, big, big bro, DJ Magic. That's my brother, man. You already know. Spazzo, Brooklyn on my back. Bomb. Holla at your boy. They already loving the crew. Team Magic. I'm here with DJ Magic. Congratulations on your one year anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Tell me a little bit about what that journey's been for you this past year. It's been, a hard, it's been, it's been fun. I've been, you know, meeting new people, new obstacles, being able to work hard and take and take challenges. I like that. I like I like being able to to, to, to take things hard and, and, and face on and stuff like that. So it's good. I like it. It's good. Tell me a little bit about your passion for DJing and how that all got started for you. Um, my passion is beyond the regular DJ's passion. Like, I, I, I wrap up bands. I, I take it to modeling. I take it to, to the car shows. I take it to, to the old school b-boy. I, I just love it, you know? It's more than just playing music. It's more like an art, you know? So. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what it's been like working for Hot 97. I love them so much. They 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 help me out. They train me. They tell me what's wrong and right. They they, they don't just throw me in, in in the field and expect me to just fall. You know. I love them so much and and, and they keep helping me and, and doing bigger things. It's important to have that coaching and that guidance. Tell me a little bit about what that's like for you as far as how, what the difference is from when you started, from where you are today. I mean, where I started before, it was more of a, of a just doing what I want to do. Now I have more of a structure. It's more of a, all right, I need to get this done to get this done. Before it was more like a hobby, more like I just did it just to do it and, you know, but now it's more like a job. It's more of a structured, a structured job for me, you know. And, and, and I, I have to get things done to get the next project done. So it's good. It's good. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm here with Young Chow. How are you tonight? I'm fine. I'm great right now. You know, we're just doing our thing, having fun. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I go by the name of DJ Young Chow. I'm one of the new members of Hot 97 as well. And we here celebrating with my dude DJ Magic, Spinfo, Walla, CeeLo. You know, it's our first year anniversary. We're just having a lot of good fun, a lot of just having a good time. Thank you so much. Tell me a little bit about what you're working on right now. Well, I'm doing a lot of projects, Cancun, Miami, everywhere. We're all over right now. We're just trying to go global. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm here with DJZ. How are you? I feel great, man. I feel like money. Shout out to my man DJ Magic, everybody at Hot 97. VV Catherine, I see you. You're doing great. You're moving in the streets. You know what it is. Thank you so much. So what are you up to? Yo, to be honest with you, I've been so blessed. I'm actually doing a five board tour with Hot 97. I'm doing Movado Friday. I'm doing, um, I host pretty much all the Red Bull events. So stay tuned. I'm everywhere, man. God has been good to me. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much, man. I'm here with Marie Driven, PR Relations. Tell me about this event tonight. Oh my gosh. Crazy ass event, right? We had everybody here basically. It was like Fred the Godson, Tiki Shoe the Backers, Club Love Game, Eddie from Love Game. I mean, crazy. Everyone's having a great time and it's just an amazing event. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Karen. I really appreciate it. And shout out to TJ Magic from Hot 97. I mean, you know, I love him. That's what it is. It's about love. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Erica Kane. What a pleasure it is to meet you. It's very nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Now, congratulations. I mean, you've hit like top 20 on the charts. Yes. Um, I was fortunate to have three singles on my first album make it on Billboard and um, as an independent artist that's a lot of success for your first album so what we're doing is um, we're gonna really push our label and push this project this new album it's releasing in April 17th this is my new album so we're really excited about that congratulations thank you very much tell us a little bit about the songs and what inspired when you were writing the songs you know what was 
your inspiration at that time? Well, what always gives me inspiration is somebody following their dreams and somebody overcoming obstacles, and that's where I write from. A lot of my music is very inspirational, encouraging, and um, it's a lot of women empowering. Um, it's very important to me as a woman to encourage other women because I know the struggle um, in the music industry, whatever business it is, um, it's a struggle as a woman, emotionally, mentally, so that's really a big deal for me in my music and where my expression comes from. It's really important um, for me to encourage women and encourage people in general. Erica, where did you grow up? I grew up in northeastern Connecticut, um, this town called Killingly, Connecticut, and it's a small, quiet little town, and I was very fortunate to have a loving family who really supports me, so. Tell me a little bit about how you got into the whole profession. Well, as a child, my mother and father are musicians, and music was always in the house, and it was always an important part of our life, so um, what we wanted to do is just pursue it. Um, it's, I think it's a big deal when somebody follows their dream and their heart and what they want to do, and not just settle for something, and that's one thing my parents taught me, is to follow your dreams, so that's what I'm doing, and you know, they're, I'm lucky to have them supportive. Um, there's a lot of artists out there who don't have the support of their mother and father because they don't believe music is the right way to go. But um, fortunately, they completely support me and they know that music makes me happy um, as much as it made them happy. So. Tell us about your tour schedule. Well, I have a little laryngitis, so you have to forgive me. Oh, it's quite all right. Well, what we're doing right now, we're in the mixing phase of our album, and we're releasing it April 17, 2012. And we're going to be promoting it in the southern states, on the west coast, and in the Midwest. That's that's where my fan base right now is, is really popular. So we're going to be doing that, and we're working with a choreographer named Jimmy Locus, who's an excellent, excellent choreographer. He's been in the business for years. Years, and he's going to um, be a big a big role in putting our tour together so we're hoping to tour overseas um, we don't have a set schedule yet but we're hoping to tour by the summertime excellent so check her out Erica Kane tell our viewers where they can find your information yes check me out I'm at Twitter at Erica Kane you can check me on Facebook also bscrecordings.com and ericacane.com excellent thank you so much Erica thank you very much appreciate I'm here with Lou Humphrey and Richard Vona. How are you guys doing tonight? Great, thank you. Great, thank you. Excellent. Well, it's very exciting to see DJ Magic out here. It's been a year on Hot 97. I'm very excited. Absolutely excited as well. It's great because he's just good at what he does. We enjoy listening to him all the time. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your organization. I know that you have a record label. Tell me, tell our viewers more about that. Well, our record label is called uh, BSC Recordings. It's out of Connecticut. We're an independent label. We have four artists, which our uh, primary and premier artist is Erica Kane. Uh, we've been in existence since 2008. Uh, we've had Billboard Success, uh, three number uh, top 20 records with Erica Kane, here, here with me being one of them. Excellent. Congratulations. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in that organization. We um, have other business interests together through a number of years uh, that we always had. And Lou had an extensive background in the music business. My, myself, I was in finance and starting up companies. And we thought it would be a great synergy because we had a long-standing friendship to start up a company because we thought there was an opportunity in the music business with the coming of the internet and social media. Excellent. Tell me a little bit about what really got your passion into music. I mean, you've been doing this for so many years. Right. Well, I started out as a uh, writer, uh, producer. I played in with uh, in local bands, one with a guy by the name of Bernard Jackson, who happened to have been the lead singer of Surface. I've also... Uh, Wait, so what instrument did you play? Oh, keyboards and uh, drums and programming, the whole thing. Yeah. Guitar. Uh, I've had success with uh, Freddie Jackson. I wrote his song, Do Me Again, which was the title of his third album, Do Me Again, which went gold and platinum. Congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, and from there, it just uh, blossomed. I've worked with SWV, and I'm fortunate to work with Erica King. 
Excellent. Tell us a little bit about the future of the company and where you're seeing yourself in the next couple of years. Well, we feel like uh, our company has had such great success in the first two years of our existence that we believe that uh, we're going to be able to compete with the majors this year with the release of Erica Kane's new album called Substance on April 17th. Y'all buy it. <laughs> so help our viewers with some tips and advice on what they should do when they're trying to figure out what industry they want to pursue. You have to find out what you're good at, but also you have to find out what's your passion. And no matter what business you're in, it's all about hard work and being persistent. There's, more, there's a lot more valleys and peaks when you first get started, but in the end it pays off. Thank you very much. Did you want to add to that? Well, I simply say this. No mountain's too high to climb, and nothing's too low to get under. If you believe, and you trust in your dream, and you commit and are focused, you will succeed. I love it. Thank you very much. I'm here with D Chambers. How are you tonight? I'm doing fine. You know, I'm out here supporting my boy DJ Magic. A lot of good people with peers I deal with in New York are here. So, you know, I'm having a good time. They sponsored good liquor, you know what I'm saying? Kavoda. Me coming all the way from Coney Island to, 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 to the city, it's a lot. It means a lot. We're far away from everything. So to be around is definitely a good thing. Absolutely. You definitely have to be involved, you know? Definitely always got to be involved, you know? Like I say, you got to live with that warrior mentality. I'm from Coney Island, got the warrior mentality project. www.dchambers.com I'm here, you probably see me with the hoodie on, I'm in the cut. I'm always in work mode, I'm constantly thinking, you know what I mean, so I'm always. Tell me a little bit about your new reality show coming out. Um, what's going on is that it's two things, I'm with the Fuse behind the unsigned, the Fuse channel, behind the unsigned grind. Uh, that's with me, Fred the Godson, Nitty Scott, Sky Zoo, uh, Soulcon, and Manuel from Connecticut. And it's just like an everyday walk through life of what an artist got to go through from day to day. So I was blessed with the opportunity to be called from them. And I'm moving forward with it. I'm bringing my life to the big screen. I'm here with Fred DeGasson. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Fred DeGasson, a.k.a. Goldo Frederico. TBN block work all day. Y'all know what it is. Tell me a little bit about what you're working on right now. Right now, I got the single out called Monique's Room. Everybody going crazy. You know, this is joint with me and Jay the Kids called Tulsa that they playing now. Um, I got the drama mixtape out. Um, City of God. We rocking, we working. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration. What's keeping you going right now? I mean, life. You know, I'm from the block. I'm from the gutter, shelter, oldest out of six kids. You know, um, it's just the drive, you know what I'm saying? Always the drive to do better, you know what I'm saying? So I always think about my childhood and I just keep going. So tell us a little bit about the outfit you got going on today. You got your hat on, yeah. you got your chain on. Yeah. Tell us more about that. You know, just like to do things out of the ordinary. Got the Canadian goose hat on, little $250. Got the big Jesus piece on. That's too much money for me to tell y'all how much that costs. We rocking, man. Y'all know how I get, man. Fresh. I'm here with rapper Papoose. How are you? I'm okay, and you feeling good? Oh, well, I got a little laryngitis, but I'm hanging in there. Hey, it's nothing wrong with that. It's part of life to become sick. It's all about getting better, you know what I'm saying? So tell me a little bit about your new single. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. The name of my new single is I'm Like That. Hottest record in the street, hands down, and I'm happy. I'm just happy to be here. I'm blessed. Tell me a little bit about the single and what really inspired you to come out with it and get those lyrics together. What was the inspiration behind that? Yeah, definitely. The inspiration is just um, basically my love for music and, you know, a lot of people portraying the big things that they not really are, you know, so they not really like that. It's just something we used to say in my neighborhood growing up when somebody wasn't really that good at something. You know what I'm saying? You say, yo, you ain't like that. Like Jeremy Lin on the Knicks. He's like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me where you grew up. Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. One of, the, one, of the, one of the toughest neighborhoods in New York. 
So how long did it take you to actually come out with your single? Oh, it took me a long time, you know what I'm saying? But I took my time. It's produced by Ron Browse. Go buy it on iTunes. I'm like that. All right, check him out, because he's like that. That's right. You heard him. Give me five. My girl. I'm here with Jack Thriller. How are you tonight? Man, hey, I'm bowling like a bitch up in here. How you doing? Hey, can I cuss on your show? Can I cuss on your show? May I? Oh, well, fuck it then. Let's do it. So, tell me a little bit about what you're working on right now. Hey, right now, I am working on a lot of stuff. I'm working on my mixtape. Um, it's called Publicity Stunt, because that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm up here singing, I'm rapping. I got Fred the Godson on there. I got Michael Blackson, all your favorite comedians, all your favorite rappers. Y'all have seen me with everybody. You, you know what I do. All of it. We just trying to blow up. We trying to get some attention over here. Give a shout out to DJ Magic. Yo, I'm giving a shout out to DJ Magic. I don't know how to do no tricks myself. I don't know if he's a magician or a DJ or, or personality, but he my dog and whatnot. And um, what I like most about him is his gold teeth. His teeth for gold and whatnot. So that let me know he got insurance. And if you got insurance, there's a good chance you might get married. I'm here with Camille McDonald. How are you tonight? I'm wonderful. It's a beautiful day in New York City, so I'm happy to be out. Not on one way. Fashion Week is over, so I get to relax a little bit with my good friends, you know, so I'm well. <laughs> and celebrating in DJ Magic's one-year anniversary. Definitely. Um, today on Twitter, I made a comment. I sent a tweet that, you know, when you're leaving New York or you're coming into New York and you're driving, you always have on Hot 97 because that's how you know what's hot and all the amazing artists, but as soon as you venture a little further out, the radio station starts to get a little static and you're like, oh no, you gotta reach for the iPod. So definitely one year for the DJ and it's amazing. Tell me a little bit about what you're working on. You're on America's Top Model. Yes, um, originally I was on America's Next Top Model Cycle 2 and that's when everyone tuned in and watched and I was, I guess, deemed as the sassy girl that everyone loved to hate with the mean Naomi Campbell signature walk. And then Tyra called me back to do her All-Star Cycle. And America's Next Top Model All-Star Cycle 17, not Cycle 2, has the highest rated young ladies on the show, the fan favorites. So thank you so much to my fans for you know, loving me and having me come back on. You didn't get a chance to see my signature walk, but it's what, seven, eight years later. So I'm definitely a more mature, more refined Camille McDonald. I've traveled the world, I'm pursuing this dream of mine, and it's been amazing. But right now, I'm working on my spin-off show to the All-Star Cycle, where you can really find out about who the real Camille is so hence you know the new blonde hair ladies and gentlemen because um you know it's time for me to get back to my sassiness and who I really am sexy so I did that I worked as a professional model the opportunity for top model came along I made it on the show and even though I was very successful I went to Howard University I was in my senior year I stopped to do the show but afterwards, I took six months off of my career, career as a professional model and now reality TV show star. And everyone said, no, no, you can't stop in the business because you're going to lose momentum. You have to, you know, continue with being in the limelight and traveling. And I said, you know what? My father passed away. My parents instilled in me to get your education, have something to fall back on. It can only help you, not hurt you to have more knowledge. So I took six months off. I went back to Howard. I completed my degree and got another degree from the Fashion Institute of Technology and Fashion Design. And it has helped me tremendously in my career as I've matured as a young lady and still working the runways. Shout out to Samantha Black for this year's Fashion Week for having me open and close her show.